Hey, welcome back to ABU Games edition of the uh, Holiday Cube that is not holiday for me. Um, we'll be getting totally trashed in round one again. Let's uh, let's start with the Karn, I guess. Seems like a pretty good pick. All right, so uh, there is Elspeth Sun's champion in this pack. And there's the only other card that I would possibly take is either Garrick or Polluted Delta. Um, I think that the Elspeth is better because it's easier to cast. There's better better white cards. So here we go. We're on Planeswalkers. Okay. Uh, Tezzeret, I guess. Maybe Sackland. None of this is too nuts. I'm just going to take this stupid Sackland. I need some mana ramp. I get the ramp flowing. I haven't seen a single piece of it. I'll take a Signet. Next pick, please. Fiora. Okay. Another pack with no ramp in it. I'm getting worried. People are taking the ramp. Um, shoot. I might need to take Counterspell, I guess. I don't know. If other people are going ramp, I probably want to counter their huge things. I don't know what to do here. Okay, so there's uh, Path to Exile, Hollowed Fountain, Phantasmal Image, Riftwing, Cloudskeet, and Tamio in this pack. This pack is nuts for me. I think I like Tamio. I'm going to keep on rolling the Planeswalker train. Um, memory Lapse goes nicely with Counterspell. Looks like we got a deck so far. Alright, so Gruel Signet. It's even if it just taps for Colorless on my deck. I think I just want the Mana Stones. So definitely Orzhov Signet. At least that one taps for White. Maybe they just weren't in the packs before. Um, definitely taking the Growth Chamber. <coughs> Crews are really good. You really need to hit all your land drops. Missing your land drops is awful. Mulliganing is awful. Okay, so uh, the Pristine Talisman wield, I guess. That's a that's a rock, so I can get behind that. Um, I'd like to get a Juicy Apprentice. Pretty good to sideboard in, but uh, I'm just gonna take the Pristine Talisman. Let's see, so we gotta take Tezzeret, I guess. If we end up with artifacts, then uh, we play him. If not, then whatever. We can just hide him. No big deal. <laughs> LOL. Okay, so I don't think we're playing red in our deck. So the Sulphur Springs and the Lightning Bolt don't look very good, neither does a Hunt Master. I think Lightning Bolt's the best card though. Outright. Um Sphinx of Jorail, I guess. Maybe we are playing red. We got a wildfire and all these planeswalkers. Alright, let's see. We only got a few cards one card left in pack one. I think it would be going a little faster by now. Last pick is a charm, not bad. I don't mind that. I might play it. Guess if we get some red lands, we got some decent red cards. I wonder what I'm gonna get. Can I get a recall? Or a black lotus? I haven't had black lotus lit yet. This is my sixth sixth cube. What is this? I swear, I'm not put on the holiday patch. I'm on the old patch with no no rare cards in it, no power nine. Alright, I'm taking Grim Monolith. This will go with my Tezzered, my other Planeswalkers. Just power them out real quick. Hopefully the Caves of Koilos or the Verdant Catacombs wheels. Maybe sort of wheel, but I doubt it. Paradise. Yep. Really good. 
All right, so uh, Ancient Tome, Tundra, Worm Coil, those are all good. The Abyss is good. I think I want Worm Coil, though. Worm Coil seems nuts. I'm going to get duped into playing this Tezzeret for sure. Mono six drops. Let's see. Tundra, though? I need Tundra. I need Tundra. I shouldn't pass it. All right, so, dang, there's like nothing in here for me. I'm gonna take the four spike. I might be able to catch somebody with a four spike. That'd be good. Let's see here. All right, so I got Underground River, I guess. If I'm playing this. Tez. I guess if I'm playing the Tez, I should probably actually just take the Signet. Signet's good. I'm just going to take the Signet. Who am I kidding? So I can take Volcanic, Worn Power Stone. I think I'm going to take the Power Stone. We have so many ways to get an early Planeswalker in this deck. Whoa. I think Coalition Relic's better than Mind Stone. Okay, so I got... Time Twister is the Power 9 that I get to see. It's kind of funny. I'm going to take it, actually. I'm down with that. I can play a bunch of Mana Rocks and then Twister it. Let's do this. Actually, I have to take the Treachery, I think. I didn't see the Treachery. You have to take Treachery. Treachery's too insane. Treachery is just a little bit too insane. <laughs> okay, so Mere Battlesphere is the pick here. Is the pick ear the Mere Battlesphere? Yeah, definitely. He's a good dude to ramp into. I guess I could take a wheel, but. Let's see here. Let's see. Meow. Uh, Verdant Catacombs, Wield, that's pretty good. Dungeon Geist, Aetherling, I like Ramming into Aetherling, pretty much GG. Hide Sphinx of Jawar Isle, we have a better Sphinx of Jawar Isle now. That is so weird. So weird. Okay, so Golgari Rot Farm, I guess. The Rot Farm. Don't want to miss our land drops, so. It's basically a swamp. Or uh, Everglades, if you will. If you will. Yevamaya Coast, Void Mage Prodigy. I'm not playing any green cards, I don't need a Yevamaya Coast. Grave Crawler. I'll just take the stupid Void Mage Prodigy. Uh, Lutero Core is not bad. I might play him. Who knows? Stupid Goblin Vandal. Scroll Rack. Okay, that's a card. <clears throat> Let's see here. What do we get? Mox Rube? Nope, Mox Sapphire. Okay. You just have to wait until the final pack to actually get a piece of Power 9. It's only the holiday. It's only the holidays in the third pack for me. Let's see here. I guess I just take the sapphire. Maybe the Rectus Signal Wheel, but I doubt it. I'll take Precursor Golem too. Or sort of Body Mind. That card's actually pretty nuts. Actually, I don't have any creatures, so maybe not. What did I get? I got Dimmer Signet. Sweet. Do, do, do. Nobody's getting any signets but me. Ever. Ever. I feel like with this holiday cube, you don't actually build a deck. You just pick a few really powerful cards, and then you just play a bunch of mana ramp. Yeah. And that's just the whole... The whole deck is really actually like five or six cards that you just try to cheat out as early as possible. 
Let's see. I'll take compulsive research. I need this. You well, like, need. I'm, I'm starting to think like I like try. Okay, I have 18 playables and then 22 mana sources. Yeah. That's about what it is. I don't wait. 18 cards. 18 cards and 22 mana sources. Counting mana stones. Counting your cyclic. As land, you know, as, as part of the 22 mana. Don't stones. you need more than that? Don't yeah. you need more stones than that? Don't you need more stones than just you want twenty two land? No. You want twenty two twenty you want eighteen action spells? Yes. Twenty two twenty two. I think that's too many. Eighteen's too many? Yeah. Well I have well let's see here. I, I guess with my I have a noble higher tin horn elves and birds of Taking Golgari Signet. So I guess I'm at I'm at fifty spells. I've got twenty five mana and fifty spells. Is that is that better for you? That might be better. I don't know, because I obviously don't know what the heck I'm doing. Yeah. I guess I'll take go for the face. It's never bad to go for the face. Sometimes you just have to go for the face. Smokestack, Angel of Despair. Angel of Despair is impossible to cast. It's the problem. Richard and Port. I guess. I don't know. Uh, ever flowing chalice. Just take all the mana stuff. I might have too many this time. Stones. You don't think it's possible? What do I got? I got one, two, three, four, five, six stones. Seven, eight, nine stones. Like half the deck is mana rocks. Maybe I'll try taking a four drop. Here, Bloodline Keeper. I guess he's double black, so that makes him not possible to cast very well. Hmm. Tropical Island is not the land I seek. There's a Lotus Bloom in this pack. Uh, I don't like Lotus Bloom anymore. I'm over the Lotus Bloom. I'm going to take Bloodline Keeper. Alright, so I think I need more business spells, so I'm going to take the Preacher, Sir Golem. The Preacher, Sir... What? Alright, so it looks like there's nothing in this pack for me at all. That's not fair. So I'll take Gatekeeper? I don't know. It's probably a bad pick. Let me go for the Willbender, I guess. A bunch of throwaway picks here. Not going to be interesting. Very interesting to watch here. La 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 luli. Alright, I'm gonna take the boots. Maybe we can put the battle sphere in the oh, in the boots. Put the battle put the boots on the battle sphere. You think that's funny? It's not. Because we're gonna try to do it. It's probably gonna fail. Catastrophe. This card's good. I'm gonna take catastrophe. Because I'm taking Angel of Despair. Plague Sliver Gross. This card sucks. I thought we were past the point in Magic where 5-5s five for 4 with a drawback was a thing. Why don't we get 5-5s five for 4 with upside? Where are those at? Those are the ones that I want. Alright, so we have Karn, Catastrophe, and Elspeth, uh, Memory Lapse, Force Spike, Counterspell, Compulsive Research, Tamio, Treachery, Aetherling, Go for the Face, Bloodline Keeper, Tezzeret. That looks like the deck right there. 13 cards. How many cards did you want to have? You wanted to have more than 13? You wanted 15? 15 business spells? I'm having a hard time getting enough business spells with all my mana stones. I don't know, he says. I guess I'll put the Sphinx of Dwar Island. Alright, let's see. Wait, I don't want this. Probably not playing the boots, actually. I can't play only 11 lands. Uh, that's out. This is out. I 
Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I'll probably drop the Angel of Despair and play 14 lands, I guess. I'm not playing the port because it doesn't tap for any color. So this is a Plains. It's a Swamp Cycler. Add land. Suggest. Six islands, two Plains, one Swamp. I can get behind that. All right, shipping it. This is it. This is the thing. This is the stuff that we're doing.